journalist of all things. <laughs> of all things. God. I feel like I've been the most fortunate man that uh, I've ever heard of. I went through such a great deal and experiences then, and I've been able to serve the country uh, <clears throat> nonstop since. I've been the nominee of the Republican Party. Uh, you know, it always intrigues me a little bit, Neil, when they say that McCain is angry. I, look. I get angry when I see injustice. I get angry when I see things like this pork that I hope we're going to talk about. But uh, look, I, I am so happy to be in the arena and I'm so happy to be able to serve. I can't tell you how grateful I am to been able to serve this country and maybe not always the best, but I sure have tried and enjoyed every minute of it. Hi, I'm Greg Gutfeld with Tammy Bruce, Juan Williams, Brian Kilmeade, and she skis in a sugar bowl, Dana Perino, The Five. Life is all about holes. You spend your life trying to fit into one, but that's the last thing you should want, because when you die, trust me, you'll fit. No matter how round a peg you are, eventually you go nicely into a rectangular hole. It's your job to do what John McCain did. Never willingly fit. Never lie down and quit. Make a fuss. Make everyone work harder. In fact, you can measure a life by the size of the hole needed to accommodate it. Make sure yours is McCain-sized. There are people whose exit leaves a Grand Canyon-sized space that can never truly be filled. Senator McCain left that space. And while condolences may often feel trite, they can help fill that space, especially when there are millions of them. Senator McCain was foremost an independent thinker, a round peg in the world capital of square holes. Mm -hmm. He owned his thoughts, critics be damned. His experiences taught him to shrug off stuff that would have left us in tears. Five and a half years in a prison camp will do that to you. And that's real diversity. He was feisty, funny, and real. We need a good John McCain, and not just every generation, but every day. Somebody who reminds us that we don't all have to act the same and who knows that there is a difference between a good idea and the latest idea. The earth is covered in cemeteries, endless green acres of rectangular holes. There's one near you and in your future. But if there's an army of round pegs, filling square holes won't be easy. In life, be a John McCain. Be a little less predictable tomorrow than you were today. Realize that politics is only a small part of life not life itself. Be the round peg that refuses to fit in. Dana, I heard you earlier talk about John McCain uh, when the news came out. I just want to get your thoughts on, um, I don't know, his passing. And Well, I didn't know him until after 2001. Um, I came to the Bush White House after 9-11. And um, any time that John McCain was around. It was a joyous time. He's very, actually, he could be quite cantankerous. Mm -hmm. And you will find there were many people in Washington who got, you know, their heads ripped off by him. Mm -hmm. But they always respected him. Um, he was a joy to have as an ally mm -hmm. and could be a really tough person if he wasn't on your side. <laughs> right. But you, he commanded such respect that you would have to listen to him. One of the big uh, fights, or I shouldn't say it was in a fight, but a disagreement was about enhanced interrogation techniques mm -hmm. um, in the wake of uh, the war on terror and 9-11. And he felt so strongly. And you couldn't disagree. I mean, obviously, he had gone through it. Right. He, he knew what he was talking about. And so I remember those fights. But the other thing that I remember, too, is because I wasn't there on the 2000 campaign, mm -hmm. um, I only knew John McCain as a friend yeah. to George W. Bush and an ally. Um, yeah. 
And as I learned more about, about how difficult and tough that primary and bitter that primary was uh, when George W. Bush finally wins in South Carolina over McCain, that what a remarkable level of forgiveness happens between adversaries that then they can go on to work. And then as a staffer, that's really great because then you can work with their staff and there's no bitterness, there's no recriminations. What I've really enjoyed um, in the past two days is reading stories that I didn't know. Yeah. And a few of them having to do with all the things that I really loved about him, especially the freedom fighting, uh, his belief that America was a force for good in the world and that he would never, ever during recess would he go and take a vacation. He always went to see the troops or to visit somebody who needed America's help. And obviously he will be missed. He's a, a man of principle. He, he evokes strong emotions in people. Definitely. Uh, nobody's neutral. No, 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 no. It's so true. <laughs> Brian, I, I don't know if you had any personal dealings with him. Be, you know, free. Stop. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Feel free to make some up. Right. No, yes. that's true. No, but they're all based on a true story. And here's the thing. It's, it's a little like covering sports. When you first break in at 22, you have the worst mic flag there is. You're in the worst station at the worst time. Yeah. And you walk into a locker room, and they treat you just like your mic flag. So you're not on a network. With John McCain, he treated everyone equal. He made people seem important but not patronizing. Mm -hmm. He would come on to deliver. He had something to say every day. And I'm wondering, it seemed like there's only five people working in the Senate mm -hmm. on every major issue. Yes. Not mm -hmm. only does he have an opinion, True. there's a problem in Syria. There's an unrest. So next thing you know, he is in Syria at 78 years old yeah. meeting with the Free Syrian Army. There's a problem in Ukraine. There's an insurrection. Well, it's five, ten degrees uh, below zero. He is sitting there on a stage in the yeah. Ukraine. And they're saying John McCain will come on with you in the morning because they're 12 hours ahead of time. I'm saying this is unbelievable. The other thing I would keep in mind with John, with John McCain, which I thought was fantastic, he sincerely admitted when he was wrong. Mm -hmm. The Keating Five, I blew it. He always regretted. I don't think this is wrong, but he regretted the confession they beat out of him in the big picture. He also, I, I also think that uh, when it came to the collapsing of the economy, I think that at one point he lost to Barack Obama. Barack Obama calmly picked up the phone and talked to Hank Paulson, said, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Where John McCain suspended his campaign and got angry. Mm -hmm. In retrospect, he says, you know, I could have handled that better. It's kind of cool to think that you could be that important Admit you have wrong and still forge straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Juan, you must have interviewed him a number of times in your career. Any, any experiences that strike you? Well, he could be really angry. <laughs> he could get angry. I can tell you that. You, you know, it's, that's not a joke. John McCain would be furious with me at times. And, and, uh, what for what? what, what, what? Well, one, I remember the one that really st stands out was in 07. He was losing in the Republican primaries. Mm -hmm. And the question was, why is he carrying on? And I would ask that publicly yeah. on Special Report. I'd say, you know, I don't see why McCain bothers to stay in this race. Yeah. And he just... Well, he, he did not react well, and he especially didn't react well when he came back and won. Yeah. And he loved the idea that he would stick it to me that say, hey, you're, you're supposed to be so smart about politics. Huh, huh, huh. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's the way he felt about it. That's fine. But you know what strikes me is that through it all, anger or whatever, uh, was the sense of honor. And, you know, you know people in the military, uh, and the rarity of John McCain is that his granddad and his dad were both admirals. And then he goes to the U.S. military, uh, U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, which is where he will be buried. Uh, and he's not an outstanding student, but he is a dedicated person. And when he goes to war, he's a dedicated person. I think he's the kind of person, based on the honor that he displayed as a politician, that I would want at my back uh, if I'm under fire. Mm -hmm. And when you saw John McCain's statement, uh, the statement that he issued uh, knowing that he was about to die. He talked about American ideals, Greg, in terms of this is a country based on an idea, mm -hmm. not on blood and soil. Mm -hmm. And he spoke with a depth that I don't hear from politicians about what real patriotism is. That You know, politicians are always glad to wrap themselves in the flag and patriot. Not John McCain. And he could have done it more easily than any of them. Because mm -hmm. he really was, as Dana said, in a prison camp and tortured. I'm not mm -hmm. saying he was just held, tortured, and displayed to me what was the greatest example of honor that I can think of as somebody I know, which is not to allow yourself to be freed right. because the enemy knows that your dad 
is in charge of the troops, right? right. And you're not going to let yourself be freed as a propaganda statement and leave your brothers behind. Yep. I don't think there's any higher tribute that I could give to John McCain than to recount that story today. No, that's, it's an amazing, amazing story, Tammy. Yeah, and I think uh, a lot of people watching and a lot of the people listening to my radio show have serious disagreements politically, obviously, with Senator McCain. And we've uh, expressed those, and there's going to be time in the future to have those critiques. This is a time, though, to reflect on somebody, and all of us really, more than just what we see necessarily on television, more than in one moment that reflects something and who someone is and what they've contributed within the larger context. And his final statement, I think, says something very appropriate for all of us across the spectrum about uh, not surrendering, right? About what really matters. Um, and that's a message, especially for, for Trump supporters, that they can learn from. That no matter what's going on, that you continue on with what matters to you. That you can, none of us are going to get out of this alive, right? Yeah. We're going to hopefully have a, a wonderful moment at the end where we can think about what mattered if we did what we could in every single way. And that is what I think all of us are trying to do. And he also mentioned, of course, the thing that gave him the strength. And I worked on that campaign briefly in a peripheral way in 2008. The difference was his family, his wife. Uh, and his, his daughter, uh, Megan, who I got to know a little bit. And that, of course, was, was just a, a, a foundation for him, I think, that makes a huge difference for, for every politician, for all of us who do these things. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, in the future, there's going to be much more critique, discussion about his legacy and the nature of what uh, he's uh, been able to accomplish, the things he's done when it comes to legislation, and how we move forward from this. But I think, ultimately, it's about sticking with your principles, not being bullied away from them, continuing on to help make this country stronger and better. And I think we're, we're in a good position doing that. All right. Well, up next, Geraldo Rivera takes us inside the opioid crisis in America with brand new footage of a major drug investigation. Stick around. <laughs> After my DVT blood clot, I wondered, is another one around the corner? Or could it be different than I thought? I wanted to help protect myself. My doctor recommended Eliquis. Eliquis is proven to treat and help prevent another DVT or PE blood clot. Almost 98% of patients on Eliquis didn't experience another. And Eliquis has significantly less major bleeding than the standard treatment. Eliquis is FDA approved and has both. Don't stop Eliquis unless your doctor tells you to. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. If you had a spinal injection while on Eliquis, call your doctor right away if you have tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. While taking Eliquis, you may bruise more easily and it may take longer than usual for bleeding to stop. Seek immediate medical care for sudden signs of bleeding like unusual bruising. Eliquis may increase Increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. What's around the corner could be surprising. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. Anybody that tells you that they don't want a full head of hair is lying. It was like really thinning out on the top. I was like, here we go. <laughs> Once hymns came along, I realized that doesn't have to happen to me. It's an easy, fast, and inexpensive way to keep hair. It was really comforting to have a doctor make me feel Really confident that this is a product I should be using. What you get from Hims is definitely worth the price. I'm no longer going bald, yay! At Safe Light Auto Glass, we really pride ourselves on making it easy for you to get your windshield fixed. With Safe Light, you can see exactly when we'll be there, saving you time for what you love most. <laughs> You might take something for your heart or joints, but do you take something for your brain? With an ingredient originally discovered in jellyfish, Prevagen has been shown in clinical trials to improve short-term memory. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. It's absolute confidence in 30,000 precision parts, or it isn't. It's inspected by Mercedes-Benz factory trained technicians, or it isn't. It's backed by an unlimited mileage warranty, or it isn't. For those who never settle, it's either Mercedes-Benz certified pre-owned or it isn't. The Mercedes-Benz certified pre-owned sales event, now through August 31st, only at your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer. Keeping faith in the president? After the Cohen bombshell, are evangelicals still supporting Trump? Pastor Robert Jeffress breaks it down with Shannon, next Fox News at Night. With so many mattresses out there, how do you know which one is really the best? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Just look at how the Purple Smart Comfort Grid made from a super comfy yet ultra supportive material called hyperelastic polymer cradled those unfertilized chickies. Purple's unique design cradles your pressure points and redistributes support to the rest of your body for maximum comfort and support. For a limited time, buy any Purple mattress and get a free Purple pillow. Promote what makes your business great with Vistaprint. Whether it's a business card, a banner, or a postcard, we have the paper stocks, sizes, and design options to create marketing that's right for your business. Give it a try with 500 standard business cards starting at just $9.99 when you use code VP500 at Vistaprint.com. Stunning statistics out this month about the growing opioid epidemic in America. A record 72,000 Americans died from overdoses last year alone, with opioids accounting for almost 50,000 of that total. Geraldo Rivera joins us with an on-the-ground look at this crisis. He joined a task force of the DEA, Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, and local authorities during a federal drug investigation in Tennessee. And Geraldo, I'll turn it over to you just to explain what you're doing, and I believe you have done some interviews on the ground as well. We have, Dana. Thank you very much. Welcome to Nashville, the capital of Tennessee, the state capitol building. Majestic behind me, the flags on top of the state capitol have never wavered. They are at half staff to recognize the passing of Senator John McCain. About halfway between here in Nashville and Knoxville in the eastern part of the state, there's a little town called Salina, Tennessee, in Clay County. 1,500 people live in Salina, uh, uh, Tennessee. 1,500 people served by four big, busy drugstores. Those four big, busy drugstores last year, according to the DEA, wrote 1.3 million prescriptions, or 1.3 million pills, opioid pills, were prescribed by those four drugstores in that tiny town of Salina, Tennessee. Obviously, what the DEA and the T, uh, TBI, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, suspect is that some of those drugs are being diverted or the doctors are overprescribing, that those drug stores have become prescription pill factories dispensing drugs to people who pay the freight, uh, but causing the kind of carnage that you referenced at the top of the segment, 72,000 Americans dead last year alone. That's up from 64,000 in 2016. 72,000 last year. That number continues to rise. It is one of the leading causes of death in our country. C. Martin Reed, the DEA administrator in charge of the raids on those four drugstores in Salina, Tennessee, this morning, spoke with us. He guided us through this process. Here he is. But at this point, we're going to make sure we get records, we look at records, we analyze the records, uh, we look at the dispensing logs, uh, the prescriptions, all of the drugs. We'll do a count of the drugs just to make sure that there's no actual diversion happening. What? We spoke to the people who were apparently in charge of two of the four of those big drug stores in Salina, Tennessee. Here is their side of the story when I confronted them with the suspicion held by the DEA and the TBI that they are prescribing way too many opioids. Kind of a shocking way to start your day. How are you feeling? I feel fine. Do you feel confident that all of the opioids coming out of this place are legitimately prescribed and dispensed by you? Very confident. Why such a large number? Why so many doses per capita? Why people coming from Kentucky? I don't have hardly anybody coming from Kentucky. Why such a high number of opioids prescribed? How do you feel about the DEA uh, coming to your drugstore this morning, kind of suspecting that you're dispensing more opioids than you should be? I really don't, no comment. But can you explain why so much traffic in this little town? Why four big drugstores? No, sir. There's no comment. Is that four drugstores here to serve the local population of 1,500 in, uh, in the town of Salina? I uh, can't answer that, sir. We know how the Mexican drug cartels are killing Americans. We know how the Chinese and their fentanyl factories are killing Americans. But, Dana, as you said at the top, 
Over 50,000 of those overdose deaths are caused by prescription pills prescribed by drugstores right next door. We've got to check and see if they're really doing the right thing by their, by their customers. Dana, back to you. All right, Geraldo, thank you for that report. We appreciate it. We'll check back in with you uh, throughout the week. We thank you for that. Um, Greg, I know this is a topic you've talked about a lot. Um, and yeah, there's I, a, there is a problem with overdoses, but... I think the problem right now, the overdoses, the overwhelming majority of them are from street drugs containing fentanyl. If you look at the risk of overdose among cancer patients and pain patients who are taking actual prescription drugs, it's 0.3% percent per year. And when you look at opioid overdoses, it's very misleading when they say 50,000. It's a combination that is killing people, a combination of opioids, benzos, cocaine, alcohol. A lot of times people are using it as a lifestyle party drug. They overdose, they buy it on the street. Why am I bringing this up? Because we are unfairly <clears throat> punishing cancer patients and pain patients by limiting their access to prescription drugs. When they reduce the number of prescription drugs, overdoses actually go up. What does that remind you of? Prohibition. When you made it harder to get the booze, more people were dying of alcohol poisoning because they were using an unsafe product. So once again, if you're a conservative and you're for uh, uh, banning prescription drugs, then you should also be, or for suing, pres if you are for <coughs> suing prescription drug companies, then you should be for suing gun companies. All right? If a gun is used in an armed robbery illegally, you should be suing a gun company. You should be suing an automobile company if a, if a car was in the getaway car. So do, you cannot be a conservative and say we're suing drug companies because somebody is buying drugs on the street. Well, Greg, I would say this. There's nothing, there's no holes to poke in your argument except for if I have a gun, I know it's dangerous. Right. If a doctor in a lab coat hands me these and say these will make you, you just trust those doctors. Right. You know a gun could potentially be dangerous. Right. And they tell you that. But but you don't think that the painkillers that you get when you leave the hospital or because your ankle yeah. the injury, you don't think that's well, the I issue. 99.7% been... of the people who use opioid mm -hmm. prescriptions are using them safely. The people that are overdosing are using them unsafely on the street. Well, if, I, if I could add that, that we also know that when you get off of or if you're taken away from not given your prescription for the opioids because of our war on this, people then go to heroin. Right. So that's where you get the higher uh, rate of the overdoses exactly. in that regard. But we also know that when there's nationalized health care, as we started moving to this in 2009, a comment from uh, President Barack Obama in June of 2009, um, uh, we're not going to solve every difficult problem in terms of end-of-life care, but maybe you're better off not having the surgery but taking the painkiller. That attitude comes into a framework. You save a lot of money if you don't do a surgery and if you've got that back surgery you want to do or something else and somebody pres prescribes a pain uh, reliever instead, uh, usually an opioid, that's what we saw beginning in 2009. And then uh, you, you get uh, indoctrinated into that, if you will. It's something we've got to move people out of. So I think the, the part, the only thing that I think is missing here is the attention to Big Pharma. Because Big Pharma is being sued, I think Purdue's being sued here in New York State, and I see this all over the country. Finally, you see attorney generals saying, you know what, you guys have underplayed the risk of addiction. So this is what you're, just, mm -hmm. you're talking about, Tammy, which is that it may not be that people who are being treated end up dying from it, right. but they become addicted to it, and then they end up going to the streets, exactly. and then they go up to other drugs, they exactly. go to the fentanyl, they go it to the heroin. It started with the prescription, it then moves but to But that's the point, though, that is that what Greg's saying is that we have now, the doctors are afraid to prescribe, the, the pharmacies are getting, you know, maybe so there are problems. Maybe I'm punishing 99% right. of, of, right. of, of the people using it. And again, we're forgetting they're, the people that are overdosing are mixing. And, they're, and also, though, but the point that, as Geraldo was saying, the drug cartels from Mexico and the illegal drugs from China, mm -hmm. that is where I think um, hopefully we can have... They give you 24 impact. pills. Should you be responsible for those 24 pills? Because a lot of kids are going into the cabinet, yeah, but... grabbing what's left of your injury. Should you be responsible for that? Of course yeah. well, you got to be that, responsible. What about, is that true for, with a gun? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. All right. President Trump says he's terminating NAFTA and replacing it with a better deal with Mexico. The political impact next. If you have psoriasis, little things can be a big deal. That's why there's Otesla. Otesla is not a cream. It's a pill that treats moderate to severe plaque psoriasis differently. With Otesla, 75% clearer skin is achievable. Don't use if you're allergic to Otesla. It may cause severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. 
Otesla is associated with an increased risk of depression. Tell your doctor if you have a history of depression or suicidal thoughts or if these feelings develop. Some people taking Otesla reported weight loss. Your doctor should monitor your weight and may stop treatment. Upper respiratory tract infection and headache may occur. Tell your doctor about your medicines and if you're pregnant or planning to be. Otesla, show more of you. Insurance that won't replace the full value of your new car? You're better off throwing your money right into the harbor. Hmm, I'm gonna regret that. With Liberty Mutual, new car replacement will replace the full value of your car. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Looks like you're not sleeping well. How did you know? And Megan! Hey! You're that guy! The My Pillow guy! That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. <sighs> Just like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. I had tried every pillow out there and none of them worked. That's why I invented My Pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck aligned. My pillow will hold its shape all night long, regardless of your sleep position, for the best sleep of your life. Call or go to MyPillow.com. Use the promo code and save over 50% with Mike's 4-pack. You'll get two MyPillow premiums and two Go Anywhere pillows. It's one of his best offers ever. You're sleeping better. Much better. And you're looking good. Well, feeling feeling good. good. I knew you would. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. I'll shoot you an estimate as soon as I get back to the office. Hey, I can help you do that right now. High Thrive. Thrive? Yep, I'm the all-in-one management software built for small business. High Thrive. Help me with scheduling? Sure thing. Up top. High Thrive. Payments? High Thrive. Promotion? High Thrive. Email marketing? Almost there. Hold on. Wait for it. High Thrive. Manage my customer list? Can do, will do. High Thrive. Post on social media? Hashtag High Thrive, my friend. Get started for free at Thrive.com. Okay, we need to get all your school supplies today. School, grade, done. Done. Hit the snooze button and get low prices on school supplies all summer long, like this case of paper for only $29.99 at Office Depot Office Max. Looking for vacation rentals? Search Home to Go Florida for $49. Home to Go Texas from $45. Home to Go New York from $59. Home to Go, the world's largest vacation rental search engine. Let your perfect drive come together during the final days of the Lincoln Summer Invitation event. Get 0% APR on select 2018 Lincoln models plus $1,000 bonus cash. Oh, hey, Mom. Now that we have your attention, Capri Sun has four updated drinks. Now with only the good stuff. Do you know how to use those? Nope. Get those kids some Capri Sun. Rachel and Bill move to a simpler life. But simple got complicated. Luckily, they moved and stored with Pods, who brought back just enough for their new addition. Pods, the right move for your move. President Trump calling it a big day for trade as the U.S. and Mexico reach a new deal which he says will replace NAFTA. The president describing the impact of the tentative agreement with our neighbor to the south, also outlining his plans with Canada. I like to call this deal the United States-Mexico trade agreement. I think it's an elegant name. I think NAFTA has a lot of bad connotations for the United States because it was a ripoff. It was a deal that was a horrible deal for our country. I'll be terminating uh, the existing deal and going into this deal. Uh, we'll start negotiating with Canada relatively soon. They want to start. They want to negotiate very badly. Uh, but one way or the other, we have a deal with Canada. So, Brian, what do you make of this? I mean, we don't know all the details. What we have been able to discern so far is that it takes into account the digital economy in a big way. There's some emphasis on trying to bring car manufacturing back to the U.S. 
but in general, it does not seem like a huge leap over the deal that the president blew up. There'll be a sunset uh, provision. They're going to talk about automobiles, energy, and you mentioned the Internet. Uh, evidently, Jared Kushner deserves a lot of credit. Robert Lighthizer, too. Uh, Senator Lamar Alexander, to me, underlines what could be happening to the president. Mm -hmm. A Republican who said, I kind of like NAFTA. I got to see the details. Right. I want him to come to Congress to ratify it. My sense is, if you told me, uh, what are the chances of... Mexico, in a transition from old leader to new leader, agreeing on one third of NAFTA as opposed to Canada, I said, there's no way that's going to happen, even in the best terms. But he got Mexico done first. And guess who was looking over the shoulder the whole time? Canada. They want to start negotiating right away. So again, this is why we hired him to go and start forging some of these unique deals, in this case, modernize and improve. I haven't read this trade agreement yet, but my sense is they saw enough in the market to rage today over 26,000, yes. gained over 250 points. Uh, Boeing, Caterpillar, Goldman Sachs, uh, J.P. Morgan all climbed the most because of their uh, diverse And this seems to be like the, the overarching approach of, of President Trump. You've got his new socialists coming in effectively to, to run Mexico. They know that the economic relationship with the United States matters, right? They know President Trump means what he says. They've got to work with him. And so that means they're going to have to start to compromise and say yes to certain things. Because without us... There is going to be even more economic problems if you've got a socialist leader who wants to have a party down there, um, and they're going to need economic cooperation with the United States. The, the, uh, part of it is uh, moving uh, 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 automobile uh, manufacturing more 75% uh, uh, here uh, versus 62.5%, at least, they say. So that what it says is, is that you're right, uh, is that Mexico knows that America matters and that they've got to work with President Trump and that he's not kidding. And this is where you get good deals. And he's done it. Well, Dana, I, I, I take a little bit more skeptical view. <laughs> you do? Uh, yeah, All which right, is please. that the president yeah. did, did away with NAFTA when before it was could have been renegotiated peacefully and made attacks on not only Canada, but Mexico as ripping us off. Doesn't sound like the ripping president. Us off. Oh, it doesn't sound like <laughs> it, bro. Nah. Uh, well, look, nobody went to war, right? So there was, yeah. it, 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 we're still peaceful. And, Absolutely. And better trade means for better neighbors. It's mm -hmm. like having a wall or a fence, right? right? Like, <laughs> is you that actually, in there too? It, it might not be in there, but oh. I, um, I think this agreement in principle, like it's all good. Um, I don't think it's as big as it could have been. Uh, the, the sunset that the uh, Trump team wanted was a five-year sunset. It's a 16-year sunset with a six-year review period. Right. So I think people got a lot out of it. I disagree. I do think that it's easier for an outgoing lame duck president uh, in Mexico to work with the president of the United States to get something done. And I think the new leader said, could you please get this done before I take over? Well, I mean, yeah, that three makes people a lot of sense to me. Two nations. Yeah. yeah, I do think on the locally sourced thing, though, I, that what will happen is that cars will be more expensive if they're made Correct. here. Yep. And I think a lot of those U.S. manufacturers will figure out a way to make more in China and export them this way. So it'll all work out in the end. I'm for more trade. Well, Greg, you and I negotiate daily. Of course. Yeah. Over things we can't discuss. <laughs> By the way, I'll get it to you after work. Thank you, brother. All right. All right. And Michael uh, Cohen will eventually leak it to Larry Davis. <laughs> you know um, what's interesting? Donald Trump shows how he's far less racist than Hollywood. Because whenever Hollywood gets pissed off, they go, we're moving to Canada. Yeah, we're moving to go, Canada. See? In Trump's world, Canada is the bridesmaid. He went straight to Mexico. So that, that steals another talking point away from the media. And it also proves all the Paul Krugman's wrong who said he wasn't going to revamp and he wasn't going to keep up his end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. So I thought it's kind of interesting. And they'll, and they'll end up saying that it's not that big a deal, but right. that's fine. I also think this. I think NAFTA has been, it, ha, it was bad for uh, certain uh, groups sure. of people. And the, the president spoke directly to them. I think renaming it is fine. If it takes the toxicity out of it and makes everyone for trade again, like, let's just yeah, go with it. Yeah, let's just exactly. call it whatever it's you want. It's yeah. what the president does. I just want to see Canada branding. do something. Now, what is Canada going to do with They're their dairy They're going to come to the table right now. Are they going to do oh, it? Oh, don't yeah. have a oh, towel. Sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. what, you know, what's interesting to me is, is that the Bernie Sanders folks, the unions, we're big opponents of NAFTA yeah. because it was taking it's, jobs it's in this country. So yeah. then you get Donald Trump comes in and he comes at it from the right, that populist point of view. But I'm not sure that he will be able to say this is bringing a large number of jobs back. But he will be able to say he made a deal and that I think it satisfies Wall Street, Brian. It that's shows another difference. thing that he said he was going to do that he's going to do. Well, and let's every, hope, and let's let's hope all he, the while he's us. being chased 
by this giant machine trying to unseat him. He still goes to work every day. He, yeah, yeah, but I, he I goes worry to about work every day, and he, he does deliver. We've seen in every single case, it helps with jobs and the economy well, and so. the stock market. I worry exception. about the, the big one. I think Wall Street's worried about the Chinese deals and what happens. But there. everybody wants it reconfigured. So he's got yeah. Democrats and Republicans. All right. Hmm. Brand new information about the suspect in that horrific Florida shooting. Police are still searching for a motive. The latest straight ahead on the five. My father passed his truck down to me. That's the same thing I want to do with you. It's an emotional thing to watch a child grow up and especially get behind the wheel. I want to keep, you know, stacking up the memories and the miles and the years. He's going to get mine, but I'm going to get oh, a new one. When it's time for your old Chevy truck to become their new Chevy truck, there's Truck Month. Get over $9,600 below MSRP on this Silverado when you finance with GM Financial. Plus, during Truck Month, make no monthly payments for 90 days. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. If it feels like you live in the bathroom with recurring constipation and belly pain, talk to your doctor and say yes to Linzess. Yes, Linzess treats adults with IBS with constipation or chronic constipation. Linzess can help relieve your belly pain and lets you have more frequent and complete bowel movements. Linzess is not a laxative. It helps you get ahead of your recurring constipation. Do not give Linzess to children less than six, and it should not be given to children six to less than 18. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. So say yes to help for recurring constipation. Yes to help for belly pain. Talk to your doctor and say yes, Lynn Zess. Hey there, people eligible for Medicare. Give me two minutes and I'll tell you some important things to know about Medicare. First, it doesn't pay for everything. Say this pizza is your Part B medical expenses. This much, about 80%, Medicare will pay for. What's left this slice here, well, that's on you. And that's where an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan, insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company, comes in. This type of plan helps pay some of what Medicare doesn't. And these are the only plans to carry the AARP endorsement. That's because they meet their high standards of quality and service. Want to learn more? It's easy. Call United Healthcare Insurance Company now and ask for this free decision guide. Inside, you'll find the range of AARP Medicare supplement plans and their rates. Apply anytime, too. Oh, speaking of time, about a little over halfway, and there's more to tell. Like how with this type of plan, you'll have the freedom to choose any doctor who accepts Medicare patients. Great for staying with the one you know or finding somebody new, like a specialist. There are no networks and no referrals needed. None. And when you travel, your plan will go with you anywhere in the country. So if you are in another state visiting the grandkids, stay a while, enjoy, and know that you'll still be able to see any doctor who accepts Medicare patients. So call United Healthcare today. They are committed to being there for you. Tick, tick, tick. Time for a wrap up. A Medicare supplement plan helps pay some of what Medicare doesn't. You know, the pizza slice. It allows you to choose any doctor who accepts Medicare patients. And these are the only plans of their kind endorsed by AARP. Phew. Call United Healthcare today and ask for this free decision guide. I'm so frustrated. I just want to find a used car without getting ripped off. You could start your search at the all new Carfax.com. That might help. Show me the Carfax. Now the car you want and the history you need are easy to find. Show me used trucks with great deals. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Show me the Carfax. Start your used car search and get free Carfax reports at the all-new Carfax.com. All right, Fox News alert there. Brand new information about that horrific shooting on Sunday caught on live stream during a Madden video game tournament, Madden 2019. It happened over in Jacksonville. Court records reportedly show the, sus the suspected gunman 
who had been previously hospitalized for mental illness and was prescribed antipsychotic, antidepressant medications. Meanwhile, police still not revealing a motive, but are providing new details on what happened. Listen. The suspect clearly targeted other gamers who were in the back room of uh, the Chicago Pizza participating in this gaming tournament. Uh, the suspect walks, uh, walked excuse me, past patrons uh, who were in other parts of the business and focused his attention uh, on the gamers. There you go. Authorities also saying the suspect had two handguns, only fired one. Juan, your take on this event that took place, because none of these people were from Jacksonville. As right. uh, one of the reporters brought up this morning on WOKV, one of our affiliates on the radio, he said normally there's a vigil and there's candles and there's flowers, but no one even knew anybody that... Uh, that was participating was an out-of-town event, a regional championship. So this is, you know, for me, this is like, I love sports, but this is EA electronic sports. And the idea... It's going to be an Olympic sport in 2024, <laughs> by the way. I'm being You're serious. serious. I know. You're, serious. I know. But this is a huge change in our reality that these people are watching other people play a video game, essentially. Exactly. And, uh, and this young man from, from Baltimore apparently had won this tournament earlier, was unhappy at something in the outcome. I don't know if he felt that well, he, he lost was, Saturday. But I don't know if he felt that he got cheated, Brian. I don't know if he felt that other people were making fun of him. We know, as you described in the opening, he had been hospitalized for mental issues. So I don't know the details here. I mean, all I can say is, you know, I come back to the same refrain I've said often, which is I think we have too many guns in this country. I don't know. Right. I, by the way, do you know where he got the gun from? No, I don't. Uh, they know their rating is uh, Baltimore apartment. We were doing Fox. His dad. No, I think it's his dad's in Federal right. Hill. Yeah. T Tammy, this was a no gun zone. So even though yeah. Florida has one rules, when it came to Jackson Square, they said you can't bring a gun there. Didn't yeah. work. Well, it didn't work. But and some of the gamers now, of course, as you might imagine, are calling for more security. They want thing, people to be able to be searched. This is these are turning into be huge events. All kinds of people from all over the place, right, who may, might not even know the local rules or if they're traveling with guns, but they're vulnerable positions, soft targets, obviously, beyond just one person who might be on uh, psychotropics and whose mind is, is uh, uh, in trouble versus terrorism, right? You'd think that we would get this when it comes to large groups of people. So America has been educated on that. But par and already, of course, it's been politicized with firearms. Uh, uh, Ivanka Trump being attacked uh, for her sending her uh, condolences on Twitter. In saying, fact, yeah, we Talking about that. the NRA. We we'll weave that in. Um, Ivanka Trump came out and said, uh, I offer my condolences. You know, but of and course and Dick Durbin right. and others, you know, talking about the, the gun issue. But the problem with that is when you go immediately just to that, it sucks all the air out of the room to deal with what is the, a common link in virtually every shooting. Mental illness. Which is mental illness. But more than mental illness also, but beyond that, is the nature of the treatment. Are, are the drugs that are used, especially with the young people, right. and how they affect. The thing, especially just before Columbine, is when um, uh, the psychotropics were initially uh, approved to be dealt with when it comes to young people. So that's what we have right. to be dealing with uh, directly, I think. Dana, this guy, uh, out of his mind, sat Saturday showed up in the same outfit. Sunday started shooting live on camera. I think that figured into it. Right. Well, um, the guy that that beat him the day before said that he refused to shake um, that the suspect refused to shake his hand after the match. He was staring blankly, acting weird, and wearing the same clothes as the day before. That's not necessarily something you would go to authorities about, because that's just not what we Bad what, loser. what we do. Can't arrest but, him. To, but to Tammy's point, yes, um, it is the case that there is a group that will always go straight to. We have too many guns. But I do think there's a point of, okay, well, then when can we talk about the common link and mental illness? When can we have a concentrated conversation about it? We've been doing this show for um, seven and a half years, and we talk about this, well, I don't know, every other month or so? Right. I mean, it's, t it's time to have this conversation. All right, uh, Craig, I know you're really hot on this. Well, uh, the, the, the issue is there's just a number of variables, and some people find one variable, guns, more of a priority than another variable, which is mental illness. Mm -hmm. You could probably address the whole thing with a database, which I've talked about, uh, where teachers and relatives can uh, submit a name to a civil court of somebody <coughs> they believe is mentally ill and should not be near a firearm. If this was the dad's firearm, he should be held responsible for that if this if, if this unstable mentally ill person was to get that that way you don't punish and I talk about this with opioids right. you don't punish the overwhelming majority of people who are using the product wisely whether you're driving a car or where you're using opioids or you're using weapons it's the same principle do not punish the lawful target the unlawful or the mentally ill do you think it's a, a factor if you know you're going to a non a non a no gun zone yeah and you show up with a gun you know you're not getting shot 
So if you know you're going anywhere else in Florida and you pull out a gun, there's a chance that someone's going to blow your head off before <laughs> you have a chance to get your, uh, to get your, uh, your target, which is uh, I think he wounded 11, killed two, uh, and then he killed himself. Right. So, well, I mean, there, there, is, there is stats that show that the, the, the length of a gun attack is dictated by the arrival of a second gun. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, I, maybe also, and what we've seen also with the psychotropics, is they affect young people differently than adults. Mm -hmm. And we, we're aware of that. There's black box warnings about suicide, effectively. But behavior changes, especially with young people. So what, what, we've got to at least address that. Is that the right go-to, just like with opioids, to save money when maybe a different kind of therapy would work, maybe someone does need to be hospitalized for a period of time. I know that's politically incorrect these days. Giving parents more power to commit their children, people they're in charge of, as right. opposed to just giving well, them drugs. Here's, We've here's got to a, deal here, with here, that. Very quickly, Real let quick me just one. say that most people with mental illnesses do not right. start shooting everywhere. Right. So I, I'm just cautious about this quickness to say, oh, it's about mental. It's not about mental right. illness in most cases at all. In the shootings but, it is, though. I don't think so, Tammy. But I'm. Well, and what the other point to say is here that when you have these guns everywhere, and people say, "Well, but you just should have it," you know, legal. It's okay. Why don't we ever have the things that we on the five can agree on, which is, you know, if you're going to get a gun, we should know exactly who you are. You should have a background right. check, and it shouldn't be let uh, all but, these guns are floating around. Let's find out. If this is a Nicholas Cruz situation where everyone knew he was uh, mm -hmm. uh, he was gonna, he was a shooter. It was just a matter of time. We'll find out. Meanwhile, 17 minutes before the top of the hour, here's a message: Be on time, do hard time. Reports of a stunning high school punishment for ditching class. That story coming your way. Radio guy. <laughs> You lock what's valuable. Now you can lock what's most valuable, your identity. Instantly lock your Experian credit file with Experian Identity Protection. Start free at Experian.com slash lock. Salon Pos, we're the world leader in medicinal pain patches. Our latest innovation, Salon Pos Lidocaine. Using hydrogel based technology with the maximum strength lidocaine you can buy without a prescription. Salon Pos Lidocaine, nothing is proven stronger or more effective against pain. Never before has it been more important to protect your assets, IRAs, and 401ks from the financial crisis that we're facing. Hi, I'm William Devane, and like you, I've worked hard for my money, and I'm not about to lose it now. With all the financial craziness in the world, I protect my retirement by buying gold every chance I get. I buy my gold from Roslyn Capital because I trust them. No sales gimmicks there. Roslyn will beat any price of any coin at any time. Just call them. And Roslyn will send you free information on how you can protect your assets and your retirement. So protect your future from the problems of the world. Invest in stability with Roslyn Capital. Call now for your free gold, silver, and IRA transfer kits. And for a limited time, Roslyn is offering a $1,000 discount free to qualifying new customers. Call 800-630-8900. 800-630-8900. Tonight, Laura Ingram is back. Powerful debate, smart opinion, and the no-holds-barred conversation you need. You don't want to miss this Ingram Angle. Imagine one day to get the summer-ready body you've always wanted. Imagine one day to a slimmer waist, toner arms, and thinner thighs. One day isn't someday, it's now. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, can help you lose fat and transform your body in as little as one day. Absolutely, the next day you see the results. A hundred percent, I wish I would have done it sooner. Using advanced micro-laser technology, our experienced board-certified plastic surgeons can target multiple problem areas in just one day. Call 888-317-1425 for your free no obligation consultation and find out how to get one area free. That's your stomach, inner thighs, even your arms, free. And with locations nationwide, there's a Sonobello near you. Get our best offer of the year. Book now and get one area free. Payment plans available. Call 888-317-1425. Now, With so many mattresses out there, how do you know which one is really the best? Only Purple passes the durability test, body heat test, and the all-new HED test, or human egg drop test for the layman. The best test to determine a mattress's comfort and support. Ready, Billy? No, I just accepted. Perfect. 
<laughs> Just look at how the Purple Smart Comfort Grid made from a super comfy yet ultra supportive material called hyperelastic polymer cradled those unfertilized chickies. And yeah, they're pretty real. Now how about that memory foam? Uh. See, unlike memory foam, Purple's unique design cradles your pressure points and redistributes support to the rest of your body, leaving your spine properly aligned. So no more back pain, no matter your body type, sleeping position, or frequency of nightmare. Oh, gee! For a limited time, buy any Purple mattress and get a free Purple pillow. Well, if you think after-school detention is severe, listen to these stories. An Oklahoma high school is reportedly cracking down on students for tardiness and skipping class by threatening fines and possibly jail time. A state law allows students to be slapped with a $250 fine. Boy, they've got a lot of money in that school. Mm -hmm. uh, for missing classes repeatedly without an excused absence, they could even be put behind bars for 15 days. And in North Carolina, the parents of a 10-year-old boy are outraged, claiming their child was punished for being too polite by calling his fifth grade teacher ma'am. They say their son was forced to write the word more than 100 times on a piece of paper and have them sign it. Uh, you guys, obviously, this is a little crazy. Uh, I contend that teacher in that last story perhaps didn't know even what, what ma'am meant because the issue is usually that you're not respectful in class. For her to be upset about that, and when confronted by the mom, she couldn't explain why it upset her. So that becomes an issue. But isn't this also about who's parenting? And, that, and you've got dis school districts and teachers thinking that they can really do whatever they want because they think that there are no parents around? I don't know. I mean, you would hope that there are parents around. And in this case, the parent saw that all the kid had done was say, ma'am. Uh -huh. So what was interesting to me was there must be administrators in this school who agreed with the teacher. But then when the school system was asked about it, all they said was, this is a personnel issue <laughs> and we will deal with it. So I'm thinking they think the teacher didn't act right. wisely. Now, now look, uh, Brian, $250 in this other case for, for kids who don't show, it's like an ab, four absences within four weeks. $250 fine, I don't know what kid has that or what parents have that floating around, or 15 days in jail. Isn't that going to the other extreme versus yeah. Parkland where you weren't allowed to do anything about any misbehavior? Right, I mean, this goes, uh, this goes in the face of everything trending away. Let's inflate the grades, let's make everything easier, let's all get along, try not to punish. I think, you know what I walk away with? Oklahoma, they tend to be tougher and harder on everything. They're also, to me, that school has some issues and it shows a, a school uh, faculty that cares. Yeah. A lot of times you instill discipline because you mm -hmm. care. It's taken the exact opposite way. They don't want your money. They want your attention. And they got your attention. And maybe, Dana, did it get the parents' attention? Because you know it would be the parents who'd pay that fine. Right. So four, but four unexcused absences in a four-week period. Mm -hmm. Like, basically, you're robbing the taxpayers at that point. Mm -hmm. Like, the taxpayers are paying for you to have the opportunity to go to school. You were lucky enough to be born in America or you're here in America and having a chance to go to school. Sure. The taxpayers are willing to pay for you to be there. Then you better show up. And if you don't, you're going to pay for it. And then you're and if burden. you can't be here, then you, won't, then you don't need to be here at all. We right. don't need to pay for you to be here. And, and then you end up being a burden I'm not for the, the jail end. thing, though. I think the jail days thing, I mean, that becomes <laughs> uh, another issue. What is the deal with 15, 15 days in jail? Is, is, Greg's is been, the, Greg, you've done hard times. Is it that bad? Wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't this make you want to drop out more than stay when you've got this dynamic overshadowing you of, of thinking you might get put in jail? Uh, I think uh, the fear of being put in jail is why I was on the straight and narrow on yeah. my life. In fact, I think watching Dragnet and Adam 12 all of, and, and, and FBI when I was a kid, I, w I thought that I was inevitably going to be in prison because there were so many cop shows. I think we grouped these two, sh two topics incorrectly. The one about the discipline mm -hmm. is really, really smart, I think, and, and powerful and works. You don't the think other it's too much? Oh, I think it's not enough. And I, the other one about uh, ma'am is obviously insane. Ma'am is the product of misplaced punishment that we've run out of ways to, to make moral judgments. So now we're just creating punishment supplements. Mm -hmm. We're punishing people for just the littlest things because we can't make moral decisions. I still say ma'am and sir. Yes. Well, yeah. you know, but sometimes That's people think, if you say ma'am to some people, they think you're, you're being like sort of, you're, you're first of all, you're thinking they're older to yeah. call them ma'am. I am. No, not older. you, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, the mom, the, the good news is the mom intervened in that, right? That she, yes. he, right. The mom was not happy. She saw the paper and they delivered the, the, the note with the signatures the teacher required, but then with the definition of ma'am, mm. making it clear that it was something that by the was way, By the way, Tim, yeah. I, I don't think you have a choice. I think if you decide to leave school because you don't want to pay the fine, mm. then you're in violation of law that says you got to be in school if you're wow. under 16. All righty. Well, we're going to find out what happens inevitably. Now, we've got one more thing coming up uh, next. Sugar. I get it all the time. Have you lost weight? Of course I have. Ever since I started renting from National. Because National lets me lose the weight at the counter and choose any car in the aisle. And I don't wait when I return, thanks to Drop and Go. At National, I can lose the weight and keep it off. Looking good, Patrick! I know. Go National. Go like a pro. Hi, I'm Mike Ditka. And I'm Johnny Bench. And we're no strangers to big time pain. That's why we need big time pain relief. So Johnny and I use Blue Emu's pain relief products. Blue Emu pain relief products, non-greasy, deep penetrating formula, gets down deep into those muscles and joints and does its magic. It's relief that won't leave you smelling like you need a bath. No, I, I need a bath? No, you no, no, I don't think so. It's, 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 it's cold. cold, is what it is. Blue Emu, it works fast and you won't stink. <laughs> Forge of Empires. Develop your own city from the Stone Age to the future. Available in the App Store and at foe.tv. Forge of Empires. Play now for free. I was up and down with my weight my entire life. I realized I wasn't enjoying life as much as I could. From a top diet eight years straight comes new rapid results by Jenny Craig. Lose up to 16 pounds in four weeks, boost your energy, and get better sleep. Get one-on-one -on -one support and delicious chef-crafted food. This innovative science works with your metabolism. It's getting to the best version of yourself. Lose 16 pounds for $16 plus the cost of food and get $120 in free food. Imagine experiencing this level of wow, this heightened state of car buying bliss. These feelings are not uncommon at the Honda Summer Spectacular event, where you could get a great deal on the Honda Pilot with seating for up to eight. This euphoria is only available at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. So come experience it for yourself. We see it all the time. Visit your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda Pilot, named part of 2018's best SUV lineup in America. This is Laura, and Butch, and Tank, and Tiny. And this is Laura's mobile dog grooming palace. Laura can clean up a retriever that rolled in foxtails, but she's not much on articles of organization. Articles of what? So she turned to LegalZoom. <laughs> they help me out. She means we help with her LLC, trademark, and a lot of other legal stuff that's part of running a business. So Laura can get back to the dog.